Hi, I'm Jeff from Akai and I'm excited to give you a preview of the new 1.7 software. This is a major release for MPC, including multi-core and AAX plugin support. We've spent some serious development time on this update, bringing you a feature-packed and vastly improved MPC experience. This is the first in a series of videos, and this video is all about the new mixer. This is the new MPC 1.7 mixer. On the left-hand side of the mixer, every track is now represented by a MIDI track strip, complete with MIDI metering. As we scroll across to the right, we have our program channel strips, which are all of our audio sound generators, i.e. our drum and key group programs, and our VSTi and AU software instruments. This provides a unified mixer experience across sequences. So, looking at a single audio program channel strip, you can see that we now have comprehensive metering with accurate dB values for our channel strip levels. Beneath the meters, you can see that we also have clip indicators for when you're pushing one of your channels too far into the red. The faders themselves can now apply boost as well as attenuate the incoming audio, which is useful for amplifying quieter sources. Option clicking any of the basic mixer controls resets them to their default value. So if I take this pan control and option click that, that resets it back to zero. To the left of the track mixer are a series of view filter buttons that allow you to customize your mixer view. I can hide the track faders by simply clicking the Show Tracks filter off. There's a further filter in my mixer that I like to make use of, and it's this filter here. By turning the Show Unused Programs off, I can now hide any program that is not in my current sequence. It makes it more obvious if I move to a sequence with less program channel strips. So here I've got a second sequence with just one program channel strip and we can see that it's much more efficient to view that now. These filters allow you to easily work with multiple sequences that use different sound generators by displaying only the program channel strip used in the current sequence. Within the MPC there are many different ways to work and we have a second mixer which is our program mixer which has undergone many significant improvements for 1.7. So let's take a look at it. So here I've got a piece of music that's made on just one track where all the elements are laid out across the pads inside one drum program. The MPC is unique in that you can place 128 samples across 128 pads and each pad will have its own mixer strip displayed in the program mixer. The first enhancement that we've made to the program mixer is to pin the program strip to the right hand side. This allows me to easily adjust the volume of all of the elements within that program or add insert effects. Next up, we've updated the audio path. So if I turn inserts on the pad strip on or off, they actually always return through the program channel strip, which we can see at the end. We've also added a whole series of view filters to really enhance your workflow and allow you to work how you want to work inside this mixer. The first view filter we have is show pads with samples. This allows you to filter your view so you're only seeing the pad strips that you've put samples on. The next view filter is my personal favorite filter and it's the show pads with events filter. Now, the only pad strips I see in this mixer are the ones I have events for up here. Great for really zeroing in on the things you actually recorded into this sequence. Lastly, we have one more filter here, which shows both of the previous filters together and is the show pads with samples or events, so you can really customize your workflow. Moving across to the hardware, We've now enhanced the behavior of the Q-Links. The Q-Links can now work as either coarse adjustment for different parameters or fine adjustment. So if I take my kick drum, I can just lower that for a coarse adjustment, but now holding down shift and moving the Q-Link allows me to really carefully zero in on the level that I want for that kick drum. Moving back across to the MPC GUI, 
An incredible new feature for 1.7 is the ability to move or copy insert plugins. So here, once again, I've got my shaker. I'm going to call up the plugin editing window. And now straight away on the queue links of the hardware, I've got the parameters. But what happens if I just want to try that low pass filter on the entire program channel strip? Well now as of 1.7, I can click and drag that across the program channel strip, drop it, open the plugin window, and instantly, with my cue links, start to adjust that and try that out. So new for 1.7, the ability to move any insert plugin or copy any insert plugin either across pad strips or to the program channel strip itself. Okay, that's it for now. We'll be showing off more features in later videos. 1.7 is coming out this summer and will appear automatically in your software update. Make sure you follow Akai Pro for more news and thank you for watching.